one. Our government recognizes that the so-called rebel situation is becoming out of hand, and we plan to take action. All citizens, please keep in mind that you must now show your number at all times. Martin, I can do that. It's fine, Irene, if I don't help with something. <coughs> please sit down. You are being helpful. I didn't take you for the kind to forget my birthday. It's not for a couple weeks. Martin? It's just in case I'm not there on the day. Don't talk like that. This is ridiculous. I'm not accepting this until my birthday. Irene. I want you to do an errand for me today. An errand? I need you to go into town. A colleague of mine resides there. I found his location. Are you trying to get rid of me? Well, you can forget it. I'm not going when you're this sick. You know I can't go myself. And this is urgent. Fine. If it means you'll stop talking like this, I'll go this afternoon. Thank you, Irene. When you arrive, speak to no one. Ask only for Professor Egelhart and no one else. He'll know why you're there. I'm only doing these favors for you until you get better, so don't get used to it. I won't. I promise. Professor Engelhart. <sighs> Irene, is it? What do you want with the abacus? The Abacus? Not many people know him by his name. Not anymore, anyway. Who are you, Irene? I was told to ask for Professor Engelhart and say nothing else. Who sent you? Martin. Number four. He sent me. He sent me here. He's really sick. Four. Now that's troubling. We haven't heard from the mathematician in over a year. The way I see it, you're nothing but a threat to the abacus. And I will not stand by anyone who endangers his life. Have you anything to say? Oh! <laughs> 
We need to get out of here. Irene, we need to leave now. 